Good day, everybody, and welcome to another session. So basically, today we're going to look at um, what I've termed customer experience optimization. And um, you know, a lot of people focus on customer service. But I want to share an experience with us I had recently in um, Port Harcourt. So I went to Port Harcourt and the person I went to see, the client, decided to take me out in the evening. And that evening, we went to a joint in um, Port Harcourt. And when we got there, as we drove in, when they opened the gate, the person who opened the gate said, good evening, sirs, welcome to our place. When we drove in, we were looking for a parking space. There was somebody who came out to direct us to where to park. After we parked, when we were going to the, to the joint, somebody was there to open the door for us and um, welcome us in. When we walked in and we sat down, immediately we sat down, just noticed that the tables were very clean. But immediately we sat down, somebody came to take our orders. And why do I say this is the first order? Place your main orders. And when she took our orders and left, about five minutes later, somebody has, has come to say, is somebody attending to you? And this, you know, when our meal came and we're taking, before you know it, you find out that the, the, the DJs, they had karaoke and somebody would just go to the tables. Beautiful level, do, do you have a song you want us to play for you? And when they start the song, they just invite you, do you want to come and sing along? And what caught my attention was that, you know, this had happened early last year. But every time I think, I have this wonderful memory of this particular place. Because they understand that customer service is different from customer experience. What customers remember about you is the experience that they have with you. There's recently, there was um, a hotel I slept in one of the times I traveled. Very good hotel, very neat hotel. But you find out, um, go to the bathroom, there's no soap. You have to call the reception to get you the soap. You need a cream, there's no cream, you need to call. Now, you might feel that, yes, our, our services are okay, but these little, little touch points are what customers remember. Now, what that means is that for anybody who wants to grow their business, any operation that wants to succeed and thrive must ask themselves, how do we improve the experience that our customers have with us? If we come to our settings, for instance, we should be able to ask ourselves, if we pick up a particular client and we say off the chat, ask this person about our service, would they say, wow, we are having wonderful experience working with you guys? Or if any of the friends call them and say, we want this kind of service, will the name of our firm be the first to pop up in their mind? And what drives customer experience is that every company has what is called touch points. Your touch point is the point that customers relate with you. Let's say, for instance, somebody is, um, um, let's say Mama Put, for instance. She's running a Mama Put. What are her touch points? Her touch point is that when a customer comes, he or she expects to find a seat where to sit. He or she expects the table to be neat. He or she expects somebody to come and take their order and they now expect the food to be good. They expect that when they are eating, that the atmosphere is conducive. If they, were, if they drove to the place, they expect to find a good parking space. And not where they will park and somebody while they are eating, somebody is coming to tow their car. They also expect that when they finish eating, that the, the, who, the, the owner of the mama put should at least ask them, do you enjoy your meal? Now, these little, little touch points are what improve the experience that the customers have with you. And when you don't pay attention to these touch points, your food might be very good. Your, your people serving the place might be doing very well. But something as little as not asking the, the customers, I hope you enjoy your meal, not clearing the table on time, can make the person, yes, they might be managing your place, but they are asking themselves, what are the other alternatives that are out there? Let's say, for instance, 
um, our recruitment services, for instance, we are running recruitment. The touch points are, are you giving this person updates? Somebody calls you for the first time. What's your response like? The, the, your recruitment process, how is it seamless for the customer? How long does it take you to actually send them the CVs? Now, let's even say you now get the candidate for them and they start to work. Do you check up on these candidates? Are they doing, giving this person the value that they expect? Because these are the things that you do when, you, when people see that, yes, not only are these people getting me the candidates, sorting them out for me and sending for me to pick, they are also tracking the progress of my experience with this, course, with this um, person that they've sent to me. And that makes the person very satisfied with what you do. Now you now even step a, go a step further that you also find out, you visit them to know how this person that you sent to them is doing in the field. In their place so this little little touch point are the areas that people who grow their business people who thrive must understand that customer experience is far far superior to customer service a lot of companies are focusing on customer service but what drives customers are what drive business growth is customer experience and which means you need to ask your seat back and ask yourself, what are the point of contact between me and my customers? And also try to do a feedback, getting feedback from your customers. What we've been doing for you? How satisfied have you been with what we've been doing for you? Because when you don't track your customer satisfaction level with you, you might just feel that, yes, we're giving quality customer service. For instance, the, the hotel I talked about, they might feel, yes, the, you walk in, their waiters open the door, the, um, you know, they are, let me even give you a funny um, scenario. The place I stayed in, um, Asaba. Get into the hotel, very nice decent hotel. Third floor, you enter the lift. As you enter the lift, before the lift moves, you just do boogoo, boogoo, boogoo. I took the ride once, next time I used the staircase. Because nobody wants to take that, you know, literally they don't understand that the experience that customers are having with their lift will make the person, next time they want to come, they feel, okay, I'll be moved to the third floor and I don't trust their lift, so I have to um, climb the steps to this. And there are other hotels that have good lifts. Would I want to take the risk with these people? The same thing in all we do is to ask ourselves what experiences are our customers having with and it means that on our own too we should be able to work ourselves if I'm in this customer's shoe with the kind of service I'm giving to this person will I be satisfied? So it's important for us to understand that customer service yes is important but customer experience is what is much more important. And to get it right is identifying your touch point, the point that your customers connect with you. So our job is to go back and ask ourselves, how do we optimize the experiences that our customers have with us? Step one, look at the points from the moment these customers come to us. How do we start to relate with them to the moment we provide them with our services, our goods? Step two is to reach out to these customers and ask them, You've been doing business with us for so 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 days, so 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 months. What are the areas that you would like us to improve on? And thirdly, asking yourself, if I'm this my customers, with the quality of service I'm giving to them, will I want to continue doing business?